Go ahead. Ready? Devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for a soul to steal. He was in a bind. He was way behind. He was willing to make a deal. So he came across this young man sawing on a fiddle and playing it hot. So the devil jumped up on hickory stump and said, Boy, let me tell you what. I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a fiddle player too. And if you care to take this there, I'll make a bet with you. Now you play pretty good fiddle, boy, but give the devil his due. I bet a fiddle of gold against your souls think I'm better than you. Well, the boy said, My name's Johnny, and it might be a sin, but I'll take your bet you're going to get because I'm the best it's ever been. Well, Johnny, rising up your bow and play your fiddle hard because hell's broke loose in Georgia and the devil deals it hard. And if you win, you'll get this shiny fiddle made of gold. But if you lose, the devil gets your soul. <laughs> um, devil said that I'll start the show and fire flew from his fingertips as he rosined up his bow. And he pulled the bow across the strings and it made an evil hiss. And a band of demons joined in and it sounded something like this. And it's just music. <laughs> That's when you met the devil in Georgia. And then it says... Subscribe to this channel. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. The devil's in Georgia. Hello, my divine kings and queens. I'm back to do another video. And today's message, God is saying, people played themselves trying to play you. They lost the real one trying to play you. They ain't going to never find another person like you and have very well lost an opportunity and lost you forever in trying to play you. There's a lot of people who came into your life who did not mean you well. There's people who came into your life who had ill intent. There's a lot of people who came in and trying to deceive you because they perceived you to be an easy target. But God say, easy come, easy go. No matter how these people attain whatever it is that they attain in their life, it does not mean that they're going to keep it. And no matter how long that it is that it stays in their life, it doesn't mean that it's going to stay that way forever. Because a lot of people built what they built off the backs of, like I said, and you being loyal off the backs of your hard work and deceiving you and manipulating you and throwing you under the bus and dragging your name through the mud and, and, and betraying you and stabbing you in the back. And being malicious towards you, telling lies on you. So they built it on a faulty foundation. And because of that, God says it's not going to stand the test of time. But as it comes and as it pertains and regarding you. I say, listen, they played too many games for far too long. A lot of people had ample opportunity to do right by you. They had ample opportunity to right their wrongs. To, to at the end of the day, rectify certain situations that they placed you in placed you in third party situations, sat up here and was taken from you and given to other people. They were sitting up here and thinking that you would just take anything that they dished out to you forever. And let me tell you something as a, as a learning, as a learning moment. This is not me because this is a judge free zone. We've all been there and down that road where we did not love ourselves or thought highly of ourselves that we were worthy of something better. So we stayed in whatever situations presented itself to us. We stayed in what we was familiar with. We stayed in what we thought we were deserving of. We thought we was deserving at one point in time of that mistreatment. We thought we was deserving of, of, of the scraps that was given to us, the breadcrumbs that was given to us. We thought we was deserving of these things. We did not think that we was deserving of better, but it wasn't until we said enough is enough. And then divine intervention took place, took place and God say, listen, I know in this moment you may feel like you're losing out on a great deal. I know you may feel like you're losing out on the love of your life. But trust me when I say that this person is not even going to be a thought in your mind when I bring who I have in store for you. Come on now. When God brings a person in your life, you're going to be able to line the actions up with the fruit of the spirit, baby. You ain't going to be able to. You're not going to be going through the same situations that you went through with these other people of whom you encountered that you had to learn lessons from because they was only in your in your life for a season and for a reason. Hold on. They was only meant to be in your life for a certain period of time so that you can learn certain lessons. There are certain people of whom you had to encounter, be it in your friend group. Be it with these lovers, be it with certain situations, work situations, business situations, whatever it is that you was placed in. Let me tell you something. God was setting you up for something better. God was setting you up for something bigger. And you had to go through these situations to learn certain situ to learn certain lessons so that once he got you to where it is that he wanted you to be, 
you wouldn't so freely allow people to come in and misguide you and misuse you and misrepresent you and mishandle you and mistreat you because now you know that you are destined for greatness. You know that you are worthy of something better, of something greater. And there's a lot of people who played themselves and trying to play you. Friends who played themselves trying to play you. Trying to come up on you. Trying to ride your coattail. Trying to take whatever it is that you had in your life that they perceive to be a good situation, a good thing. Had to betray you to get it. Had to throw you under the bus to get it. God said it ain't going to keep it and it ain't going to last long. Easy come, easy go. What goes around, come back around. It speak of it in the Bible. Treat others as you want, as you yourself want to be treated. But see, we had to learn things and encounter these people. We had to learn things in being in these situations. Things, like I said, they were eye openers for us. These situations and these people that we encountered and that we were in, it was eye openers for us. It opened up our eyes to see, hold on, who these people truly are behind the mask that they hide behind. There's so many people that want to play so many games till they can't play them no more because you're not going to want to deal with them no more. So checkmate. Not a prize shot. Not a hurt. You, you don't hurt their ego. Because you ain't called back. Because you ain't run back. Because you cut them off. Some of them without an explanation as to why you cut them off. You just disappeared and ghost them. Because you say, you know what? If you big and bad enough to sit up here and try to talk behind my back. You big and bad enough to play one way behind my back and play another way in front of my face. Then, baby, you don't need no explanation as to why I don't want to deal with you. You going to know. And me exiting up out of your life why I don't want to deal with you no more. Because you going to go back over the things that you've done to me. You going to go back over the unjustifiable actions that you took against me. You going to go over the, over the words that you spoke against me. The jokes that you use to throw me down, to knock me down, to have other people perceive me a certain type of way. The business that you spread it in the street when I kept your secrets. The selfishness that you exhibited in the friendship, in the relationship, when I gave my resources to you freely. <laughs> God say, people played themselves in trying to play you. Now they're going to be grasping for straws, trying to put an excuse together, an explanation together as to why they did what they did, because they're going to go through something in their life. And mark my word is what I say. These people, and let me tell you something, don't take my word for it. Overture how you know these things. First of all, first off is speak of it in the Bible. And let me tell you something, you know, you chosen and you know, you anointed, you know that God don't play about you. So he ain't going to let these people just skate off freely with what they did towards you and to you. He ain't just going to let them get off the hook like that. God say, easy come, easy go. Well, go around, come back around. You lose them how you get them. You lose them how you get them. And whatever it is that these people are going to go through in their life, mark my words. However they dish it out to you, just go down the list to these friends, to these families, to these situations. People out here trying to sabotage you, they're going to end up losing their job. My dad used to always give me this example of, forgive me if I, if I say it wrong. He always say this to me about the dog trying to run and, and chase the bird, right? Now, the bird has the option to run on land and also to fly. The dog, you know, is only um, limited to what they can do on land. They can, dogs can't fly. You get what I'm saying? And so the dogs, like my, my dad would always give me this example about the dog trying to chase the bird. Like, why are you trying to chase the bird? Because the bird can very well fly off a cliff. And you're going to sit up there and follow the bird off that cliff? Well, you're going to plummet to your death while that bird rise up and fly off somewhere. So the same way, like I said, these people 
tried to dig graves for you, the same way that these people wanted certain outcomes for you, this is what they, they're going to go through themselves, trying to follow you. And at the end of the day, you was already blessed and anointed to reach certain levels in your life. So as God pro progress you forward and pro and propel you up in life and take you to, to new, life, new heights and new levels of your life, it's almost as if, like I say, these people, your enemy is the dog or dogs. You're the bird. Your enemies and the people who went up against you is the dog. You're the bird. Keep following you. God is telling you what to do. You know what path to take and you take that path. But these people are so hell bent and trying to make you uh, experience a certain outcome in your life. So hell bent and trying to make that whatever it is that they were saying about you stick to you. So hell bent on maybe possibly trying to hold on to situations that they know that they're losing. But to save face because they know how they got it in the first place. And it wasn't built on a firm foundation. It was built on a faulty one, right? Because of their lies and their treachery and their deceitfulness. These people are going to chase themselves to their own demise. And I mean that in the most respective way. Because whatever it is that they're doing and how they're doing it, God said they didn't have to do it that way. There were so many ways that they could have gone about it. But again, it's all spiritually connected to get you to where you needed to be in life. You needed to learn. You needed to hurt. You needed to feel that so that you can protect yourself better. Because there's a lot of you who wasn't protecting yourself better. You wasn't reading the red flags. But now...